Yo, what up YouTube? This is Rain the ma -ma 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 Mask. I'm trying this a very different way, so apologies if you can't see it or or if it's shit. But you're gonna have to listen. Listen. If you can't see it, you're gonna have to more listen to me um, and do the steps as I speak them while um, I'm doing it. If that makes sense. So what um, I asked you a question about, and I forgot, is someone that reminded me. So shouts out to that person. I'll get that person's name and give them a shout out. Um, basically. Um, Tell Nike or Pulse Codes, P-L, can't even spell, P-U-L-S-E, Codes, C-O-D-E-S. Now, what these enable you to do is to get 20% off all Nike products, excluding Nike Lab products. So, how you do it? It's basically a survey. So, what I've realised is that Nike have... Um, made it a bit more difficult for you to get into it. So, if you can just see up the top um, right-hand corner here, um, I'm just typing in Tell Nike. So what comes up is Tell Nike code, Tell Nike survey, um, and Tell Nike store number. So what I would do is just do Tell Nike full stop, and it comes up with um, the actual, um, some details in regards to the code. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Now. You used to be able to type in the email, the, the address, and you, it brought you straight to the code. Now, it doesn't, so I don't go that way. I go through uh, another, um, someone's got a page on it, um, and it basically takes you directly to it. So, you can probably just make out here. I'm sorry if you can't, but trust me, you can probably see my mouse flittering around. Um, tell Nike hyphen dot co uk, and it takes you to an in moment website. In moment is the people that power the actual um, the um, the survey for Nike. So ultimately, what this is is that Nike want feedback on their stores to entice you to do the um, survey. They give you twenty percent off. Now, if you're clever, you can exploit this. I think that's probably the best word to use. You can potentially exploit this. So pardon my internet because it is quite slow. I probably should do this on a mobile phone. Um, it will be a, a lot quicker. Um, let's just have a look. It says, please wait. It's taking its time. Right. So as you can see, tell Nike, you've got this, um, I can't remember what her name is, but she's a runner. Um, apparently quite quick, but not quicker than the Jamaicans, damn, you get me? But anyway, so... Um, Upon completing the survey, you get 20% off Nike for, um, on your next online purchase up to £410 or less. So what you should have been given is one of these. And I do have these somewhere. But irrespective, what you need is a store number. Now, there are various store numbers about. The store number I tend to use is 802. Um, I can't remember what that's the store number for, but it works most of the time. So you hit next. Boom. So it says, welcome to the Nike survey, blah, 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 blah. And it gives you a certain amount of time to complete the survey. Now, if you're filling this out, you need to make sure that this survey is done in more than four minutes. If you do it less than four minutes, you will not get the code sent to you. So here we go. Hit next. Hopefully you can see that. Boom, scan. Takes you to the first questions. Ask you, I'm going to do the whole survey with you. So, um, so if you if you if you don't want to see all of this, you can just skip to the end and 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 it will tell you what uh, and I'll tell you what 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 what's what. Anyway, so date of your most recent visit. Be smart with this. So put in the date. Um, and most of the time, let's just do the time of being from one to 3 p.m. That's the busy times in the store, I guess, and all the stores are open. Some people do before 9 a.m. and that, 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 um, that they visited a store and the store don't open until 10. Doesn't make sense. You're not gonna get a cold. You gotta be smart with it. Then, hit next. Then it will ask you, is this your first visit to a Nike store? I would say no, I'm not trying to fool them. And then it will break down and say, in the last 60 days, how many times have you visited a Nike store? I put two in there, a factory store, I put zero, and Nike.com, three times. Important that you put details in all of them, yeah? Skip to the next question. Um, did you visit the store to browse, blah, 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 blah? You put in what you want to put in. I always put in um, to purchase um, a product which was 
to purchase a product to play there, to purchase a product which was available online. Because obviously the methodology is that if it's available online, you're coming into the store to have a look at it before you buy it. What was the main reason that you did not make your purchase? I always say on out of stock. Now, if that is very true, if you're going in there to buy a Jordan product, they're always out of stock because the bots get them or you've got people camping up for them. Anyway, how likely are you how likely are you to recommend Nike to a friend or family member? I always just put between tens and nines for these questions. Um, how likely are you to recommend this Nike store to a family or friend member? I put nine. The reason why I put nine is because, well, I just want to put nine. Um, sometimes you can put way down the scales entirely up to you. Um, then please answer the following questions on your sore experience and it gives you a Likert scale. Um, strongly agree down to um, strongly, so strongly disagree to strongly agree. Um, team members made you feel welcome. Most of the time that they do. Um, they were friendly and sincere. Yes, they were. Um, the team members were knowledgeable about the products. I'll put two for this case because obviously they don't really know about Jordans and that because Nike hold them hold all the details very secret to the people that are in store. Um, did the store have the products you were looking for? Make sure that tallies with the first question that you answered when you said that you was in there and the product was out of stock. Otherwise, it's bullshit. This is what I mean. You've got to be clever. You've got to be, well, not even clever. You've just got to pay attention. Um, no. Um, the pro what kind of products were you looking for? Basketball. Uh, maybe you might put men's training, whatever. I don't know. It's entirely up to you. Um, others, no. Next. It's a long video. Um, was the product easy to locate? You have to put strongly disagree because you didn't find the product, did you? It was out of stock. Were you, conf were you informed about Nike.com? Put yes because this is Nike.com, technically. So always put yes. Um, then it basically says, um, answer the questions below. Store atmosphere reflects the brand. Yes, overly I was satisfied with my visit. I'll put no because apparently I didn't get a product. Would I return to a Nike store again? Yes, I would. Um, would I repurchase at a Nike store? Well, I'll, I'll purchase. Um, so I'll put strongly agree. And then it asks you how could you further imp uh, uh, um, improve your experience in the store? You can put something in there. I might just type in have stock. Boom, scan. Next, um, did the staff member do anything on anything over and above? I'll just put no to avoid the confusion. Um, this Within this survey, you indicated that you were not satisfied with your recent experience. We're sorry that you had disappointing experience. Please, please tell us what was wrong. What was wrong was you did not have the trainer I wanted. Simple. Don't be too complex with that. Um, would you like to be contacted by a Nike response uh, representative to discuss the detail? It doesn't even matter if you put yes or no. I just put no. Because I'm saying that I'm angry. Grr. Um, would you like... This is the important bit. Would you like to receive a coupon to use on your next purchase? Hell, mofoing, yeah. Next. Then ask you for your first name. So just put in your name. Don't put in your real name. Um... So rain mask and then put in an email address. So um, just put in an email address that you know you can pick up stuff from. So I might put in this one. Um, Nelson four four five at gmail dot com. Yep, boom. That's it. So what it is? If you're gonna do multiples of these. Do not use the same email address or try not to use the same IP address. What is your gender? Male. Your current age? 26 to 35. Yep, I am between that age. Maybe I shouldn't even have done that. I should have done 18 to 25 so I could lie to you lot. Um, and then you hit next. And it says, thank you for taking time out to fill our survey. Blah, 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 blah. Now, what the thing is, is that within... Well, not within. In about 24 hours, you will get an email from them saying, thank you very much for your time. Here is your code. What I will do when I get that... Oh, she's all right, isn't she? Interesting. Um, when I get that, um, I will let you know that I've got it. Um, maybe I'll do another video or maybe I attach onto this video. Um, but remember those details that I've told you. There's certain tidbits that I've said in there. Make sure you do it that way. Anyway, rain the mask. Sign in. Out. See ya.